Okay, so on site here, San Antonio, we've got a window sill that is rotted. Boom. Um, another board under it. I don't even know what this, this one is. I've started cutting here. I'm going to take this sill out. <clears throat> you can see I mean, it's caulking here. This is super mega twisted. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's no slope on this sill whatsoever. So it, it kind of like tells me that maybe it's not original. It, I don't know. Maybe it might be. It's just maybe it's just so old. Maybe it's been sanded. I mean, there is a big old honking nail holding it into the house. So that's an indicator that it might be original, but that's not a guarantee. So go ahead and take this out. I don't know. So I've cut all the way through here. You can see it's pretty loose up in there, but it's not coming out yet. Okay, we've gotten that piece out here. And this piece turns out that it is just a regular piece of white pine. And it was installed, I don't know if you can see the rings on this end of this board, but it was installed with the rings so that they would attract water into the rings. Typically, <clears throat> you want to install a sill with the rings like that. Sometimes you forget, but if you have a chance, don't do it that way. Do it that way. So, all right, so now I got the, the sill out. i cut here. You can see that. Um, it's just regular. It turns out it is. It's just regular two by four wood. I guess it's like spruce or, or fir or something like that from up north. You can see they, they, um, you know, when they installed it, you know, they installed it this way so that those, um, those growth rings are wanting the water to come into them. They're attracting the water rather than repelling. Hey, what kind of bug is that? I don't know. I'm getting this piece out here and again this is that one that's installed upside down it tends to attract water into the rings instead of shed them away that was right here i think that's bondo that was... yep that, that was bondo you can tell by the pink flavor of it and Steel wool, okay. Kevin says steel wool is put into holes to keep mice away. I guess that's true, but I don't know about mice. So here now the sill is out, boom. Plenty of steel wool to keep mice out, I think. Typical pink Bondo. Well, Got some fungal rot in the sill here. It's pretty old. Got some right here, but it's pretty dry. Up there, it's pretty solid. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is take some of my Abitron liquid wood there, make up a couple of batches. And um, just paint some on here to keep the moisture out as good as I can. Because one of the, the fungal out needs three things, right? It needs moisture or water, it needs a food source, and it needs air, right? You eliminate one of those three things, oops, sorry, one of those three things, and you know. It can't grow so if i can eliminate some water from here that'll help it grow for or keep it keep it from growing 
or keep or keep it from continuing to grow for a while. All right, so we've got our sills in. Um, you can't see them in there. There's a one of these trim screws is holding it there. Obviously, we, we took our casing off, and inside we've got a block the width of the space, the weight cavity. So that's shoving against this two by four here, holding everything in place there. And we got one there, making everything really, really solid. So now we're gonna put the new sill in place. You know, so that it looks like that one. I'll be in. Sill is in. Ready to go. You can put the trim back on. Kevin wants to go ahead and scrape this up here before we do though, so. back together now boom still got a little bit more prep work to do but fundamentally speaking we are sealed out so that's a jam yep we jammed it out new sill right here new sill new sill on to the next one